What's happening? It's me, the JDR Gamer. Right now I'm happy to show off my build, but unfortunately, I got raided on Christmas. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to come back from a raid. Right here is what used to be my crafting station. And this is the place to start. Because really the way to come back from a raid is to rebuild. Right here is a smithy mortar and pestle sitting on a metal foundation. This is the basis of the rebuilding. We're just going to go ahead and duplicate what we had before we got hit. Now I didn't record myself grinding any of the materials, but if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Right here we're putting on the door of this crafting station. Now I swear by this crafting station, everything we need is inside just sitting on six foundations. We're going to have a smithy, a preserver, we're going to have two mortar and pestles sitting on a table, which is a great design choice. Um, it just saves, a, saves space and it's very convenient. So here we go with the fabricator as well. The reason I love this particular design is because everything is within reaching distance. By reaching distance I mean you don't have to walk around with heavy materials to access from the smithy to the fabricator, to the forge, to the mortar and pestle. Uh, you just need to turn around. So everything is within reach. And even with this dino gate size, you just I usually call this a garage, a utility garage. You can just pull your dinosaurs in just like a car and then everything is in within reach for crafting. Pretty awesome design I think. And this is just phase one of the design. The upgrades would be instead of this table right here with the mortar and pestles, uh, you switch it up with the chem bench and it fits perfectly in instead of the preserver. Uh, you do the refrigerator and it fits perfectly with the same exact design um, so I really suggest you try it it's worked wonders for me extremely efficient Here we're just putting back these large crop plots so we can regrow our eggplants. It's a bit of a grind, especially the crop plots. But I and I like to reinforce my eggplants with these spike walls just to make it just a little bit more difficult for anybody who's trying to raid. Now I'd like to dedicate this next part of the video to the guy that killed my Thyla during the raid.
I gained 23 levels in one hour, killing alphas for this new Thyla. And that's about it, people. I'm gonna let the rest of the video ride out with the full base tour completed. We've got all our X-Plants up, we've got turrets, and uh, this is my greenhouse. Uh, small and simple. On top of the build, it usually doesn't get messed with. I'm really proud of this design. It's yeah, short and simple. And just here's a good look at the build. Now I pretty much did a couple of these utility garages together and that's just what my space is made up of. And then right now I'm just gonna show you the um it's pretty much like a little house, but that's where my bed is and where my vault is. There's also a Jenny in the corner too, don't tell anyone. But I hope, hope you liked the video. I got more on the way, more cooking, and uh, yeah, just keep surviving out there. Thank you.